Hey there, I am Floris, and in this video, I want to talk about one of the features from the CMI plugin. This is a premium resource that offers a dynamic variety of features, and it will help you better operate and manage your spigot or paper servers. By the way, all the links about the stuff we talk about can be found in the description of this video. And if you like this video, and you think it was helpful to you, please subscribe, leave a like and a comment. Okay, let's get into it. All right, I am on the spigotmc.org website under the resource for CMI. And I'm recording this in February 2022. And currently the latest version for CMI is 9.1.2.0 for um, Minecraft 1.18.1. And I should get the jar file. And if I would read this page, I would see that I would also need the CMI lib, which we can get here. So I'll open that in a thing. I'm not gonna use Bungie, so I can skip that. And for the economy, which is what this video is about, we are going to use the recompiled fault, a build made by CRIPS, which simply um, is the default fault but uh, the economy injector is basically baked in. So we are going to download this as well. Let's go to CMI library, which at the time of recording is 1.1.1.1 for Minecraft 1.18.1. This is still old, <laughs> but 1.18.1 uh, is definitely supported, don't worry. Okay, so let's go to the finder and move those into our CMI directory. So now we have the latest files, including the pre-compiled uh, fault jar that works with CMI. So when we start the server, we are going to basically do a fresh installation, but I've done this before because I don't want the video to be 10 hours long. Um, so go inside your CMI directory and make sure that in the configuration file, the economy is enabled by setting it from false to true. And you can actually go through other little things. You can say, I want logs uh, to be enabled. Um, I, you know, all these other settings here, which are very handy to go through. And I do recommend going through this. Okay. But basically all you have to do is say economy enabled true. And then that's it. We can now start our server and we will run this in the background real quick. And it's going to be slow because I'm also screen recording at the same time. And I have my client open here. But this could technically be the end of the video. Just get the latest jar files, get the pre-compiled fault jar file, and then enable the economy in CMI. But I want to point out some additional information to help people debug and learn how to use some of the CMI features. So all this stuff here, when you start the server, is also going to be inside of the um, logs, the latest log. So over here, if you do something here, for example, you ask for PL, then you'll see here that it updates. So keep an eye on the log file in case you have a control panel and you don't by default see this, you can check out the log, latest.log file. Uh, why this is important is to keep an eye on CMI library loading and CMI loading as well as fault. So all three of those have to be enabled and working. And then as you get closer through everything, you'll see um, mentions of fault and CMI where things are hooked. For example, fault economy, CMI economy has been hooked. So that is really cool. You can also type CMI version and you will see 
that CMI economy is enabled and using the CMI uh, compile of fault. So that's pretty cool. You can also see that things like chat are still disabled and that the Photifier module is disabled. But um, at least we now know that the economy has been enabled. You can also use check commands for things like buy, <laughs> there's nothing there, sell, oh, there's a few things with uh, sell. I see the word worth there. Let's go through worth, perfect. So there's a bunch of stuff that we can use in game and they all have permissions as well. So you can do permission check for buy, sell, worth. And now you know what kind of stuff is available. So if we would go into the game now, we should be able to do something. All right, so what is next? Next we can type things like buy, which there was no command for, but we've learned that there is a command for like sell. And as you just noticed, we are expecting sell to work, right? Because we checked for um, that over here and there should be a sell. So don't forget to go to the plugins directory, CMI folder and check out alias where you can find cell and make sure that enabled is set to true. And uh, if you actually want everything to be like that, you can say, I want everything that is false to be true. Boom, now everything is done. CMI reload should technically take care of that. Sell. There we go. It says worthless, but what does that mean? Well, if we have an item and we want to know what the worth is, it will say it's 40 cents. So if I sell it, I just sold the item for 40 cents. Very cool. Um, what can we sell? We can check out CMI worth list. And then you can actually see everything that is for sale. And it is a lot, but it's not everything because you might notice certain items to be missing. Let's see if this is that list. There we go. We don't know what these items are worth. So what can we add to make an example out of something? We know, I think diamonds is on the list, so we should be able to craft things. And we, instead of going through all of this, how about we ask CMI to generate this for us? Um, CMI check command generate, generate worth, perfect. Generate worth. There we go. Nearly 300 items have automatically been added. This is fantastic. So now when we go through the missing list, we might see that chainmail is still here, but the diamond armor is already on the worth list now because we knew the value for diamonds. It's very cool. So for example, netherite ingot, if we don't know what these things are worth, then maybe we can set a value for something, let's say one buck. And now we can try and run generate worth again and see, there we go. The base material has been used and it has calculated everything for um, the other netherite items. So, so handy. So now if we get a few things, um, like some wood, some logs, maybe um, some wool. Come on, come on, give me your wool. <laughs> there we go, and some meat. We can sell what we're holding, right? We can do sell. 
and then that's gone. But we can also do um, cell GUI and then we get an interface for the items that we want to sell. And this is pretty cool because as you put an item in, the top part here updates. So you can see what you're getting before escaping the window. There we go. We made nearly five bucks and it is correct. We got the notification that we have five bucks. So we can check our balance and now we have a hundred and we can also say money pay. Well, actually CMI money pay um, all users one buck and then that would have been done. But there's nobody else online. I don't know how to deal with this right now, but you understand what I mean, right? There are various commands that we found out earlier here in the console um, that will help you do a lot of stuff. So check out those permissions, check out those commands. The website uh, for CRIPS has quite a few pages in regards to this. So under CMI, there's commands where you can find a whole list of stuff, but you can also create your own custom alias commands if you want slash sell to actually open that interface instead of selling what you're holding in your hands. You can also use a combination of a hologram and placeholders to achieve something that will show you what you're holding and then right click the hologram to sell it. We can look into that as well. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can work with, including an item shop. So using interactive commands, you can create cell signs or a little admin shop or things like that. Yeah, the cell hologram can be created and there is a demo on how to do this. And you can also make a cell sign. And all this stuff is on the crips.net website. So that is very cool. Let's see if we can add this to our shop. <laughs> I mean, our server. Let's check if I'm in the right directory. I am. Let's just add the hologram and we are in the spawn world and um, that should do the trick see my reload no errors see uh, let's go to the area over here okay. see my hologram open the GUI and then relocate there it is Okay, let's get a few more items. Yeah, now we can demo what we're doing. So we're holding nothing. So it will say that what you're holding is worthless. And here we go. Now I'm holding one dirt and it will tell me what it's worth and the same for oak logs. So if I hold something with 30 items, it should update and tell me that this is worth nearly five bucks, but worth of one is 16 cents. And this is pretty cool. And when you right click, you can sell it. So using these various features from the CMI economy, CMI hologram, CMI interactive commands, specialized commands, all this stuff together, placeholders, um, you end up with cool little features that you can add to your spawn or your lobby or whatever and help you have a cool economy on your server. Um, but the base of this video, of course, is get the recompiled jar fault and the jar files have to be the latest version. I prefer the latest Minecraft version as well. And then in the configuration file, um, enable the economy and start your server. You should be done. By the way, why these commands, even though they're set up and they should work, they show red, is because I only done a, um, a reload and not a restart. So if we restart the server, those commands should be able to register properly 
and then they will show normal to us. Remember that I updated the alias file. Okay, I promise this is the last thing. <laughs> Any additional information on how to make the signs and holograms, I strongly recommend using the crips.net website. I will make sure the description has a link to it as well as a link to the Discord and my FAQ page on my GitHub where I explain the steps of using the economy. See, everything is registered properly now. Money, balance, bell top. Cool little tip, by the way. If you hover your mouse over the title balance top, it will tell you the total money on the server. So if there are four people here, you can show that. When I go to one of my servers, if I type bell top here, you can see that nicknames, um, hex colors, um, uh, you know, display names and rank colors and all that stuff is there. Hey Jack, and that everything counted together adds up to the server fund, which is for our server like 161 million. <laughs> this is crazy. And if you have more than 10 people, it will patronate between them. So that's really cool. Money, sand, Jack, five. Very nice. And that I could finally show how that looks. So if I go to the money log uh, here and I make sure that we have the date sorted, then you can see um, I lost five bucks by sending it to Jack. <laughs> it's very nifty so you can check if players are doing things they shouldn't be doing okay i don't know what else to explain about the cmi economy if you have any questions post them in the video but i do prefer you simply check out the documentation first and try stuff out on your test server and, uh, but feel free to join the Discord, uh, the CRIPS Discord, and ask about the CMI economy and other features there. I hope any of the information in this video made any sense to you and that um, you liked the video. So like the video with a little thumbs up and I will see you guys on one of my servers or on the CRIPS Discord. And I hope a lot of people have a lot of fun with the economy feature. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>